Um, no. The word tarantula doesn't really come up when talking about pets. Most people are even too afraid to think about a furry, five inch long spider. The only harm a tarantula can do to a person is give them a nasty, painful bite that feels almost like a bee sting. People always fear their large fangs and deadly venom, although their venom is actually not deadly at all. It is weak to humans, and the most dangerous someone can be in from a bite is if they're allergic to tarantulas. There has been around 900 species of these arachnids, and they all come from different parts of the world, from dry scrublands to humid jungles. There's tarantulas that hang out in trees, burrows, or whatever small crevice they can fit into. Tarantulas also come in various colors and sizes. They shed their skin or molt as they grow. They replace internal organs as well as any lost appendages. But due to this process, they are very vulnerable, being squishy and unable to use their fangs until they harden. Most tarantulas spin a web used as tripwire for prey and ensnare their victims with their fangs. They then would inject their venom to paralyze their victim. Tarantulas would also inject digestive enzymes that liquefies their prey from the inside, but can also eat bigger prey like mice, frogs, snakes, lizards, and even other tarantulas. Some huge species of tarantula, such as a bird eater, can eat small birds. Let's see what others have to say about pet tarantulas. About owning a pet tarantula, I think it's a very unique experience, and not in a like difficult way, but in a much easier way because I never found out how interesting these animals are, because people see them a lot on TV and they're port portrayed as like this very uh, a hunter, a really aggressive hunter that goes along um, eating everything can find, full of venom or something, but. When I actually kept it, one of the few things I discovered is just how easy they are to to maintain. And not just that, but I found out that they're a really interesting animal to observe. Because they have their own personalities, however hard that might be to understand, is that each spider individually has its own uh, personality. And it's interesting just to watch them to see how they are and their movements and the way they behave. I find that very interesting about owning a tarantula. It's tutorial time with me, Yanni Marquises. Today we will learn how to care for your tarantula. We will be learning about a Chilean rosehair tarantula. These guys are found in deserts and scrublands of Bolivia, Chile, and Argentina. They are terrestrial, meaning they live on land, usually in burrows. Female rose hairs can live up to 15 to 20 years and be as long as 6 to 7 inches. Male rose hairs live only up to 5 years and grow up to 5 inches. These pets are considered beginner tarantulas for being incredibly hardy to conditions and for being docile in their nature. Although most are considered docile, it all depends on the individual personality of your tarantula. Now to make the right home for your rose hair, you need a 2 to 5 gallon terrarium or tank, coconut fiber soil, decorations such as fake or live plants, rocks, and small logs. Please note to not overcrowd your tank. Your tarantula needs room to stretch its legs. <laughs> 